Hey YouTube, Sun Jupiter. I'm here to bring you an unboxing of something special. So let's get into it. I got this package from NCIX. Um, let's see what it is, shall we? Well packaged box. And that says Drobo. Alright, so this is a. See what kind of Drobo this is. Black packaging inside. Alright, so it says here. Welcome to the world of. And actually, you're supposed to open up the box and then see Drobo. And there's Drobo in here too. So let's see what's in this box. So you pretty much got here your instructions and how to connect the thing up, the Drobo up, period. Simple, easy. You got the power cord here that goes into this adapter. It's a brick here. Pretty heavy. Then you get the software out here. You got the software too as well. And manual, which is just three steps. And then you got a Cat6 Ethernet cable with it too as well. <clears throat> Here. And then, I'm always surprised how small the thing is. Always. But that's it there, wrapped up in black. <clears throat> Take it off, and there it is. That's your Drobo FS. Right there. Set the camera out on this nicely. So it's a Drobo FS. So you know it's it stands for the FS stands for file sharing. So All right. So if we go like so, take off the cover here easily, and it has five bays which my hard drives are on the way right now so they should be delivering that today um, and on the cover you can see the instructions here uh, green means everything is good yellow means replace the drive soon or add a new bigger drive soon there when it's flashing green and, and, and yellow that means don't fuck with shit don't touch it because if you fuck with it you might lose your information so it's warming you there <coughs> warning you there um, and then when it's a solid red that means add a freaking drive soon uh, my drobo now has a red light so it's like add a freaking drive soon bigger one and well right away actually and then um, drive failure is when it's flashing red so yeah off because I you know always hate those <clears throat> But at the back, here, you got the power switch, and you know, you got your, your gigabit ethernet port right here, and then the power adapter port, and that's it. 
And there's, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a huge fan right here, man. Pretty big. So, again, people have been complaining about noise. Again, I don't give a rat's ass. As long as my stuff is safe. And then at the bottom, you got uh, two or uh, four rubber feet here to reduce noise. So, here we go. Put this back on the front. Boom. It's perfect. So, that's the uh, Jobo FS unboxing, guys. So, um, <clears throat> when the drive comes, I'll cut to that and add the drives to it and then also do a screen flow of the uh, Jobo dashboard for the FS because it's kind of different for this guy because you don't need to connect it to a computer so to manage um, your space or anything like that so once the drive comes we'll make a video of that alright see you in a second welcome back guys what seems like no time has passed for you guys, but it's actually been uh, at least four hours, and now I have the hard drives, <clears throat> so I'm going to open a box for that. I'm going to use a knife this time. Got some useless paper. drives are seated in some styrofoam things. And the hard drives that are in here are the Western Digital uh, Green, Caviar, Caviar Green. <laughs> hard drives right there, you can see it. Two terabytes. We got both of them and now I'm gonna cut here and then go to the dribble. Okay, so now we are about to slap two hard drives up in this uh, dribble here for you guys to see. And then we'll cut to the screen flow and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna do the screen flow on my Mac Mini because it's just easier on that one. Why not? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take the front cover off. And then we're going to take one of the hard drives and we're going to put it up at the top and boom, that's the first hard drive. I can already hear it powering up and then here's the second one. And that's the end. So, wait for them to initialize and there it goes. It's just formatting the drives right now. So we'll see how that turns out. And there we go, it's trying to do some data backup or recovery, but there's nothing on there to begin with. So, I don't know what the hell it's doing. So we'll put the front cover back on. And as you can see, it's flashing uh, green and yellow. Meaning it's doing something, so don't, don't mess with it. So... We'll cut here, and then uh, next time you see me, we'll be on the dashboard. And we're back. Alright, so let's open up the Drobo dashboard on the desktop. See, Drobo dashboard. Click on that. And then it's saying it's ready to connect, blah, blah, blah. Wait for it to initialize. There we go. So this one here is the first Robo, so Jupiter, and it's full, almost. There's 128 gigs left over. So we're just waiting for it to pick up the Drobo FS right now, uh, which is on the network, and there it is. It already popped up. 
So it's Drobo FS uh, only has 2.24 terabytes on it right now for the moment. Go to um, <clears throat> advanced controls here. And then you'll see uh, two two terabyte hard drives and a 500 gig I just randomly took out of an enclosure and, and popped it in there. Um, so they give me some additional space for when I'm about to transfer my movie collection over to the um, FS before I sell this uh, Drobo here. So the first Drobo. Okay, so here we can go to tools. And then we can go to settings here. And then now you can set the drive spin down times, which I'd probably just set for an hour, personally. And we're going to dim those lights. And then if I set dual drive uh, redundancy right now, I'm going to be limited on space. So I'm not going to do that right now. When I have more drives, maybe. And if I'm really paranoid, which I'm not. Um, so here you got your network and then you can name your Drobo, whatever you want to name or your, your work group or whatever you want to name it. I'm just leaving it all default because that's how I roll. Okay. So what do we have here? And now you can enable Drobo apps. I'll probably make a different video on the Drobo app stuff, but just because that I don't really care right now, but maybe in the future. I will, so I'll make a video on that some other time. Um, the share here you can set up different um, shares for like different computers. Um, again, I'm not gonna do this. Uh, I, I'm just going to leave the volume as it is, one big huge volume for all my computers. If I want to do a time machine from the Mac Mini to it, I can do that. I know I can set up a different share for that, but I don't want to. <laughs> do that and then you can set up email alerts so it can email you if there's any you know if your drobo is on and something is going going on like you have a dead hard drive but you're out and about so you can go pick one up and bring it home and slap it in there all right <clears throat> so we'll go hit okay on that and what I'm going to start is, I am going to start uh, my media download, pretty much. I'm going to drag. First of all, I'm going to see how much my media folder, how big it is here. And then go from there, because I only have 2.24. Um, and then I might have to just transfer my movies for now. Yeah, there are 3.19 terabytes, so I'm missing a couple hundred gigs of hard drive space right now, so I'm probably just going to have to transfer just my uh, my movie folder right now, so, but whatever. But that's the, uh, the Drobo S and uh, the Drobo dashboard for that. If you have multiple Drobos, it'll be able to pick it up, no problem. Especially if you have two FSs, it will pick it up easy peasy. So, all right. And then, as you can see, the public share is just the normal full volume. And then you can make different shares in that with passwords and whatnot. It. Okay. So, that's been it, guys. And um, look forward to the review after I start playing some movies off of this thing. Seeing if uh, there's any um, stutters with... Uh, Playing Avatar, I have a, a, a copy of Avatar that is 25 gigabytes, and uh, playing it from the Drobo that I have now connected to the Mac Mini, it's kind of choppy sometimes. Uh, I can't buff it fast enough, so we'll see if it's on the network on gigabit, if it's going to do it well, so we'll see. Alright, it's been Sun Jupiter, and I will catch you guys later. Peace. I guess I have to end it here then, jeez.